<laughs> Oculus launch pad week eight. So this week I moved, as you can see, uh, I have a huge space to do VR and um, do some motion capture stuff. Uh, so some of the week, or I moved most of the week, as well as I got to test out um, the Vive trackers with Icon and Moron and it ended up working. Uh, we'll see if it starts working on a more consistent basis so that we don't have to switch game engines. A lot of stuff popped up this week. Uh, the f uh, future storytelling um, popped up. And so uh, we're submitting to possibly demo in October, which is unfortunate, but it's also an uh, awesome opportunity for us to have exposure for a project. And I'm really excited about that. But that means that we have to start doing both projects at the same time more than pushing it out. There's also the Sundance deadline, uh, which is September 14th. So we're building out a deck uh, to make sure that uh, we articulate our experience in the most cohesive way we can, because we won't really have opportunity to film by then of the full whole cohesive experience. Um, but possibly um, uh, reach out to people to help with that and also creating some diagrams to create a really unique um, and awesome deck for a pitch deck. Besides that, we're also um, re-rigging all the characters in the monster project uh, because of scaling issues. So we didn't cohesively uniform, like have a uniform one-to-one -one scale from when we modeled and rigged the characters. So we're having to go back and re-rig the characters. Because we had to do this because we didn't really want to scale up the scene uh, because it would change the physics because we want to have a one-to-one -one scene. So we had to go back and scale everything down. And so we're in the middle of doing that, which we just have the little girl finished. Uh, besides that, Oh, we spent some time, or Michael, our rigger, spent some time rereading all the faces because there's a baseline of where uh, the faces are in Polywink. We want them to have an exaggerated look, you know, um, you know, a really, you know, not just plain Jane, but having those like nuances thing, uh, nuances so that we can really articulate um, how the faces are in virtual reality, uh, so that we have a really unique and awesome experience. Besides that, we have some texturing from Una. Ooh, look at the textures. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, so we are going to make some modifications to these, but these are a good baseline of what we're going for. And we're going to be changing the little girl, um, you know, probably to have uh, floral pants like. Um, in our like design documents, we've said that. And then also changing a little bit of colors because we have a lot of uh, greens and blues in our experience uh, to make them more red and warm characters, um, just to make sure they pop uh, within the silhouette of the room. Besides that, we have the first uh, iteration of the monster, which I don't believe I've shared yet, but here is it. If, if I have, this is it again. Uh, we're making some modifications, making the arm smaller and then the hand smaller, and then also adding some more negative space um, with the mouth and the nose, or like nose and eyes area, and making sure that it's not super symmetrical because it's supposed to be, you know, a monster, and monsters aren't usually symmetrical, I would argue. Uh, besides that, we've done a lot of um, debate and like um, articulation of like where our experience is going to go. Uh, we've been working on a uh, part where um, those little girls sprays you uh, with a, a spray, and we're trying to. Um, sequence that to make it the best it can be and possibly use maybe a different mechanism for that. But we've done a lot of coding with that and um, having the, tut uh, the tutorial sequence almost finalized besides having final art assets. Um, that's been a lot of what I've been working on and also moving into the space and finding out the which pipelines we can um, do in the most iterative and fast ways we can. Uh, we're probably gonna be using Randy, um, our actor, here's a picture of him, um, <laughs> yeah, probably uh, for the father and then we're trying to find a more authentic um, person to, you know, culturally appropriate person to play the little girl who is, you know, um, half Hispanic. So we're still trying to find someone for that. And I'm um, still waiting to try to get an iPhone from work uh, to use for the facial capture. Uh, if not, I'll try to use a friend, um, but we're trying to build new mocap helmets um, so that we can use the iPhone um, in real time so both people can be talking to each other and have the same dialogue and the reactions to one another. Um, besides that, that's pretty much all we've done this week. Um, a lot of moving for me and um, just a little bit of like um, polishing and just a little bit of a calm, uh, calm before the storm. And we've all decided we're gonna do the Seattle VR Hackathon so that we can polish and hopefully have most of the game mechanics done by then and maybe possibly have a lot of the animations more finalized. Um, but we're waiting for the characters because we've had to re-rig them. Uh, so thanks, that's been the Oculus Launchpad Blog 8. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side.